Okay, so I'm making this video in response to the claim that the Hulk that Thor fought on the helicarrier was under the control, or at least under the slight influence of the mind gem that was in Loki's scepter. And because of that, he was equally as enraged as the Hulk that fought Hulkbuster under the same sort of influence from uh, Wanda. So I'm just going to go into the visual differences. Uh, firstly, you see that there is kind of a reddish tint around this Hulk's eyes and along his cheek and especially in his shoulder and neck area, you see these snaking black veins. These are consistent throughout the entire fight he has with Hulkbuster as well as his slightly larger stature. There's another one. Distinctly reddish hue around the eyes, blackish veins along his neck and shoulders. If you go back, you also see that the cords or tendons in his neck are quite pronounced, almost sharp looking. So let's go over here. Again, I took a lot of basically the same picture, but again, all of his bulging veins have kind of a blackish color, including up onto his cheek and the red around the eyes. Here again is a very good look at the veins and the sharpness to the cords in his neck. Compare that to the helicarrier. The cords in his neck are not nearly as sharp. He doesn't have any red around the eyes. And uh, he doesn't have any of those big black veins. I also personally think he's a little bit shorter, uh, just in relation to the objects around him. So compare this version of the Hulk to after he de-Hulks, I guess, when the building falls on him. You'll notice that the, the veins are gone. The cords in his neck have returned to a normal size. He doesn't have the red around his eyes. He's basically the same character model as this guy. There. There. It's a lot different from this <laughs> Like, Look at him. He's different. He's visually different. 